Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I'm Pia and welcome to the start of a new weekly reading vlog. <laughs> like there's some part of my intro I always forget. Hi guys, it is Tuesday, so not Monday. That is the definition of Tuesday. Yesterday was Memorial Day and it was the last day of the month, so I figured start the new vlog on the new month. It's June 1st, baby. With that being said, I do have some carryover books that I'm still reading just because I'm still reading Loveless by Alice Oseman and this is a book about a girl who's going into college and she's kind of experiencing a lot of things for the first time and she is discovering her sexuality as she might be asexual and I believe that she is a romantic. So yes, I'm loving it. It's very exciting. I'm on page 165. So yes, I am also listening to the audiobook of to Night Owl from Dogfish by Holly Goldberg Sloan and Meg Wolitzer. This is a middle bread, like I said, about these two girls who are going to be sent to camp together because their dads are actually like starting a relationship and they want their daughters to get along and meet each other and whatnot and they're determined to not let this relationship happen and not become friends and obviously in that process they do end up becoming friends and it's super cute so far. I mean I'm 64% done with it so happy, pretty excited. It's all told through like emails and mail, I guess. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm finishing up my TBR video actually right now and I'm going to get that ready to go up. My dog's barking. Uh, I hope you can hear the cicadas. It's quite a interesting time here. Hello everyone. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing? Uh, it's Thursday. I finished a book last night. It is Thursday, but I finished one yesterday um, and I didn't update you. I finished from Dogfish. No. Two Night Owl from Dogfish. I keep getting them like mixed up. And I finished this and it was fantastic. I gave it four to five stars. It was great. It was fantastic. I don't know. I liked it. It was good. <laughs> 224 pages. Three Loveless. This is a long book. So, um, but I'm more than halfway done. And I'm still liking this. I'm still really enjoying it. It's a good time. I don't know what my new audiobook is going to be. I'm thinking about picking up. Downloaded from the library. Also, look how bad my nail. You actually can't see it from far away. So that's nice. This, my middle finger. My favorite finger. <laughs> My nail broke off. I'm sorry, I'm setting. I think I'm going to listen to Big Summer by Jennifer Weiner. Weiner? This is a thriller. Or is it a thriller? Or is it suspense? Gosh, if I knew what I was talking about ever. <laughs> Maybe it's just women's fiction, but I have a feeling it has like a darker element to it uh, that I just can't quite remember what it is. <laughs> it's called Summer, and I want to listen to it. It's supposed to be good. It's supposed to be a good time. Hello everyone. It is Thursday. Have I updated them today? I have no recollection. Hi guys. It is nine o'clock. I have been listening to Big Summer and I have been loving it. I like this light. Ah. <laughs> I am really really enjoying this book. It is not what I thought it was. I thought it was like murder mystery. <laughs> But it's not. It's about an influencer. I really don't like reading about influencers. I don't know. I really like her perspective. She's plus size. Um, she is kind of having this weird situation where she is going to be the bridesmaid of this girl who was like really mean to her in high school. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I really like it. I'm enjoying it a lot. Excitingly, my first set of bookmarks came in the mail. And I'm so excited. Um, these are going to be on my Etsy. By the time you're watching this, they're definitely going to be. But I'm going to be doing a giveaway pretty big one <laughs> of these bookmarks because I just I love them so much I have too many of them <laughs> right now I have three designs so two of them I'm really happy with one I'm like not 100% happy with we'll be giving these away um I will have an Instagram post with all of the details of the giveaway <laughs> because I'm going to forget something if I'm just spitting it out first one I have this one which it says a thousand beginnings and it has um just a nice like cursive script, a little thingy, um, and some stacks of books. This is not my favorite just because I don't 100% love how it came out. Then I have this one which says hot girl shit, you know, too busy doing hot girl shit reading. Um, and I just I really love this one. And then I have this one which is a Lainey Taylor Strange the Dreamer quote and it says I turned my nightmares into fireflies and caught them in a jar. Um, and I love this one so much. Yes, these are on like a really nice like glossy feeling paper. They're really <laughs> nice. They're so, so cute and I'm in love with them. And I'm gonna put them in my book. I'm so excited. Um, Yeah, I think I'm gonna 
I'm gonna give away a bunch. This book is absolutely nuts. It's so much more than I thought it was. It's a murder mystery. It has intrigue. It has so much going on and it's everything I've ever wanted and I'm almost done with it but I'm really tired so I'm gonna go to sleep. The kids I babysat brushed my hair so it's like got all frizzy. Hi guys. It is like 10 o'clock Friday. I had a quite long day uh, work-wise and then I got home and I was like oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I just want to relax. But I did finish Big Summer. I hate the title of this book but other than that it's a fantastic book. I gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars. I kept trying to guess. I even like like I, I think I told you last night I was really tired and I didn't end up finishing it before I went to sleep but I was like thinking about it. I was like who did it? <laughs> and I didn't guess the killer. I love when that happens. <laughs> like that's, that definitely like for me like solidifies a good mystery I guess. But it was like a mystery but like I still like loved the characters and would have like liked it had it not become a murder miss. Like I don't know. I just like really felt like this was a great story because I was so invested uh, in everything that was happening. Like I almost got choked up like a little bit. Like it had really complex characters I think was one of the main things is that the person who gets murdered isn't necessarily a good person and you kind of deal with that kind of moral dilemma and it's just super interesting and I just really really love this book. I literally cannot say enough good things about it. It's fun, it's fast paced, it's really great. Um, <laughs> I have now started a little bit of a Harry Potter movie marathon. I got the notification that all the Harry Potter movies are now on HBO Max and I've like seen the first three a lot like a few times at least um but I haven't seen like the later ones that many times so I started with The Goblet of Fire and I already watched it uh I'm now two-thirds of the way through Order of the Phoenix <laughs> which is my favorite book but yeah I'm watching it and I just my babies I don't know why I got into this. I was like, I don't know what to watch. And then now it's Harry Potter time, so. Hello friends. It is Saturday. I'm only updating like this late. Well, it's not late, obviously. The sun is out. Uh, it's like five, six o'clock. Um, I'm updating this late because I'm supposed to edit. Did I edit? No. But I just straightened my- I have to like fix my bangs like as a part of like most daily routines. Especially like because I worked out and I shower and so- So I am a little over halfway through the seven and a half deaths of Evil and Hardcastle. I need to try to explain this to you but it's also super confusing so I'm gonna probably not do a good job. But like when I read the synopsis it doesn't do a good job. Evil and Hardcastle will die every day until Aiden Bishop can identify her killer and break the cycle but every time the day- begins again, Aiden wakes up in a different body, uh, or in a body of a different guest, and some of the hosts are more helpful than others. Like, it doesn't give you, like, a good synopsis, I feel like, of what's going on. Basically, like it says, this guy is waking up in different bodies of this guest. It's kind of like Clue, <laughs> but he just keeps waking up as different characters, and he doesn't have his memories from his life, and he just has to figure out- it's like a big game. <laughs> it's like, whoever figures out who is- murdering well it's not even like a murder it does involve a um suicide uh, which trigger warnings for that and the main character wants to stop this just doesn't want this to happen and there's like this overlord kind of omniscient character who's like trying to guide him but is also not helping the other players that are also trying to get out of this cycle it's so weird it's kind of so it's like clue meets knives out if it were every day like that movie if that at all makes sense. But it is very confusing, but it's also like very like interesting and gripping. So like I, I'm sweating. It's like 90 degrees today in Jersey, so, um, and it will be tomorrow. Listen, I love the summer. Don't you get it twisted. I don't like when it's super hot. I'm like not getting any closer to what I'm figuring out on that. I guess I was in a murder mystery mood. Alrighty, so I'm going to uh, be going through what I have melted this week. If you did not know, I am a big fan of wax melts. I really like them as opposed to candles and I just really like creating different vibes and atmospheres, especially when I'm reading, so I feel like it kind of ties in. <laughs> if you're not interested in it, of course you can skip this part of the video, but I will be going over my empties and maybe tomorrow I'll go over like my melting basket and just pick out what I'm gonna melt next week. First up, I finished my first ever scoopable wax. So basically this is as you would think. <laughs> it is a scoopable wax, so it's like a, a soft wax formula. You get your little spoon chilla <laughs> and you scoop out a little bit. It's supposed to be just like better and like in general because it's like stronger 
because of the formula. I have no idea. But I really, really love this one. This um, is from L3 Waxy Wonders, and this was Trix White Elephant Exchange. So Trix is like the cereal, like, you know, Trix are for kids. So it's like that fruity, like, cereal. And then her White Elephant Exchange is like powdered donuts, uh, vanilla wafer cookies, like all that sort of <laughs> vanilla bakery stuff. Um, and this is just so, so good. <laughs> like, fantastic. I just wanted the White Elephant Exchange on it its own um but I just didn't know what I was purchasing because apparently I just don't know I just black out I guess I go over my scent shot cups so these are these little guys that are typically single use but depending on like the vendor I cut them up and this was from Nerdy Wax Company this is purple wall and it's just in cotton candy I just have figured out I don't really like cotton candy scents so yeah this really didn't do much for me and I also just like don't get a lot of good performance from their wax so. and then I have one from To The Moon Back Creations my favorite gal Alyssa and this is red velvet sugar cookie cupcakes <laughs> so this was red velvet cup red velvet cake sugar cookie royal did I show you this last week did I melt this last week this I like my parents were eating red velvet cake and I was like this is the perfect time to have this go because it was like like on cold it doesn't smell good but like something about like when you warm scents up sometimes it just makes them so delectable and I cut these usually in half. I have one from Fantasy Wax Melts. This is Pooh Bear and it was Honey Buttered Rolls. This one just smelled like cinnamon rolls to me. Really cinnamony. Um, so kind of disappointing. I usually cut these in half or even fourths. They're pretty good wax. <laughs> Another one from them. This actually I'm melting right now. Uh, mixed with something else. This is Fantasy Wax Melts in Reagan's Favorite. This is no longer available but this is a lemon pound cake. Um, and then I have Fantasy Wax Melts Saturday Morning Cartoons which is rich maple syrup and warm vanilla. I'm so excited about this because I love scents that like smell like pancakes because <laughs> pancakes are my favorite thing in the whole world so like those like maple syrupy type of things uh but this did ha not have like any throw for me so that was and i did finish a clamshell this is gray's anatomy from super tarts this was coffee pecan pie and vanilla ice cream so good like literally such a nice blend with that coffee i've just i found like i've been obsessed with melting coffee scents it's just like it's like a whole different vibe especially like these sweeter ones um and i do have a backup of this it's so good i have nerdy wax company pineapple under the seat this is sweet tart pineapple this one was okay like i said this vendor just like doesn't perform the best for me and i have l3 waxing wonders get in loser this is bakery bomb pretzel and today is october 3rd which is a palo santo toasted mallow and sugar cookie royale blend so it's like a woodsy bakery which doesn't make sense but it's so good. this was from birdies making sense she does like these really cool shaped wax melts um this was called how sweet it is they were these little cotton candy guys and <laughs> they were cotton candy movie theater popcorn and a hint of pretzels like i said i don't really like cotton candy and it was that and the popcorn and i was like two things i found out i really just don't like so this is an old l3 one this was like a creepy head like a, like a zombie head it was so strange um, but this was cinnamon bread pudding, zucchini bread, sugar cookie royale. It was really nice though. It's pretty old, but I don't know. Then I finished this one from Twilight Garden Wax. This was Beach Days. It's a fresh blend of ocean mist, suntan lotion, tropical fruits, and flowers, summer flowers, and woods. So nice. I love fresh buns. Um, and this one was really nice. Really strong too. This is another L3 one. This was Aquaman Saltwater Mermaid. I have no idea what Aquaman is, but it's like a fresh floral, not even like floral, just like a fresh aquatic Scent, and I just love these. Kind of smells like shampoo. I finished another Birdies Making Sense. This was a sample. This was a uh, sweet tooth. It was pumpkin pecan waffles, coffee, and salted caramel. Um, this is one I liked. I mixed it because I wanted more coffee. And another Birdies. This is the last one. This is You Make Me Feel Alive, Grape, and Fizzy Pop. And I love grape and fizzy pop. So good melting week. I actually have like one thing I'm probably going to finish up today or tomorrow that I'll also throw in but I want to get rid of this garbage so if you guys enjoy wax I hope you enjoyed that portion of the video but we'll get back to reading hello everyone it is Sunday no judgments please because I'm wearing the same thing I wore yesterday Lizzie McGuire you're an outfit repeater I'm sorry I am almost done with my book um so I'm not updating on that but I'm going to show you guys my melting basket for this coming week the things that I'm planning on melting wax melt wise um and I'm just going to go through them obviously you don't care skip me for a little bit this is called high maintenance and it's from that smell good shop this is sea salt sea kelp and ozone um and i have i've used two cubes of this this to me just smells like shampoo i don't know why fresh scents are starting to just smell like shampoo but these are like super strong super good bang for your buck i don't know why i have two 
snap bars from To The Moon and Back Creations on Etsy. Uh, this one is Ace. This is inspired by Gilmore Girls. I don't know why I forgot. This is Cocoa Butter Cashmere Sets in Mint Georgia Peach. I really like this one. My second one. And then I have Team Logan, which I am Team Dean. In case you were wondering but um this is sea salt clean linen ozone driftwood and citrus this is like a super heavy like clean scent yeah then i have this one here from birdies making sense this were these were little like kind of like pebbles i don't know um and this is called take the next step boardwalk marshmallow clouds aruba coconut and a hint of lavender this one's okay it's like not my favorite so I'm just going to kind of use it. I'm going to probably try to use up the rest of this guy. This was a two pack of bunts from L3 Roxy Wonders in Sea Cup Watermelon. This is like a creamy melon scent. Interesting. I've been kind of blending it. Um, but it's like literally smells like if you had like a, like a melon drink. I have another L3. This one is Cupcakes at Tiffany's Zucchini Bread. Really like this. Just heavy standard bakery. This is You Can't Sit With Us Wild Berry Moose. Today is October 3rd. Woodsy bakery which is super awesome i have not been liking wild berry mousse so that's why i threw this in here because i just want to kind of use it up and i know that the the woodsiness in this just always takes over so i'm gonna finish up my clam this is from sensational so it's from walmart this is a Walm walmart okay i'm right this is watermelon kiwi lemonade i have used three cubes the three left super good super strong too these like are performing amazing i have this clam uh from super tarts it's ron Ron Weasley. Any amount of time can pass and I haven't thought about it, but like I will always think about Ron, Ron, Ron Weasley. Like I, I will think about that constantly. Anyway, <laughs> this is sweetened cereal, marshmallows, sugary milk, milk, and orange sherbet. Orange. I can't even speak. Um, yeah, I had this in last week and I just didn't end up using it. So have that. Another Walmart one. This is actually my second claim of this. This is like, I can't even describe what it smells like, but it's festival vibes. Sunset Berry Bliss. It's like a berry floral, maybe? And then lastly, a big clam. This is from Better Homes and Gardens, and I've been using this. This is called Caribbean Sea Breeze, so it's obviously a lot bigger. I have used, say, four cubes, so I have some left. This is, like, so nice. Perfect summery scent. I love it. It's, like, kind of coconutty. Right now, I'm warming L3 Waxy Wonders Coffee Bean Sea Salt Caramel. I've been obsessed with this. It's so good. It's, like, a, I have a huge bag of it. It's so lovely. <laughs> It just, my whole room smells like coffee right now. Hello, my friends. We are a casual channel here. Let's be honest. My hair's wet. I showered. Like, at least I'm not stinky. I am sitting down by my bookshelves, obviously. Um, you don't typically sit. Well, I do sit on the floor a lot. I don't know why. That's like a weird... I guess it's because I don't really have chairs in my room. Tangent for another day. I finished the book. I finished the seven and a half de de deaths of Evelyn Hartkiss. I finished this. Uh, I started it, finished it. Um, went by really fast. Very confusing. I think I did my best job explaining this where it was like... It has a great twist at the end. Um, I give this 3.5 out of 5 stars. I think that it could have been so- I don't know what it is that was missing from this that m made it a little bit more difficult to understand. I don't know what could have made it more comprehensible or like easy to understand. But it was just had something lacking there. But I definitely think this is like fun and um, my mom would really love this. Like I think a lot of people would really love it. I'm sitting down <laughs> because I have not put away books in a hot minute if you but I like show you all my books and I just pull them out and now they just sit here <laughs> and I haven't put them away and like couple months. So I have like all my most recently read books. 